Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on the undeclared war starring Simon Pegg about cyber people in the UK protecting the UK from cyber attacks uh, from Putin. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's The Pineys, books one through nine, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. I am doing a signing at the Wildwood Boardwalk at 21st and Boardwalk at Moe's Boardwalk, a Simpsons pop-up store, from three to nine today. I'm posting these videos uh, the night before and scheduling them. So if you're if you're around the Jersey Shore, stop on by. So um, this is a new TV series about cyber attacks and how, um, I forget what they call it in the UK. It's like a, it's not, it has a different acronym. It's like GQUS or something, I forget. But these guys are part of the, the deep state in the UK. And uh, this is very deep statey. And there's even a line in it, this is far worse than what Snowden did. Implying that what Snowden did was very damaging to these people, like he's a bad guy. And then, of course, they mention Putin, uh, which is interesting, too. Like, Putin wants to overturn the world order. Does he? Uh, does he? I mean, how do you know that? It, it, so this all sounds, the undeclared war from Peacock, uh, otherwise known as NBC. By the way, Peacock, I think, lost $467 million. Um, it sounds a bit like propaganda. Um, so I would not watch this because I know I follow some of these issues and what, what has happened with the deep state in the United States and the UK is the United States deep state is not allowed to spy on its own, own citizens, but the UK is. And since we work with the UK, they have uh, created a situation in which, oh, we can't spy on our own citizens. Here's a list of citizens we'd like you to spy on for us, UK. Oh, you need some citizens spied on? Oh, give us your list. That's how it's working these days. Is this show going to be about that? No. Sounds like it's just to gin up more Russian hysteria. Now, that doesn't mean the Russians aren't spying on us. Of course they are. Are they trying to shut down Europe and the United States? Mm, they might be. Um, but it also could be a ruse to uh, cover up other people that politically they don't want known as attacking us maybe the chinese maybe our own guys um there's been situations where where our own uh cyber people have attacked within the united states and uh, my understanding is you know they do it for their own nefarious reasons but they can easily blame it on outside forces so this whole show feels like propaganda to me. It just instantly did. Um, so it doesn't surprise me because what are you going to really learn about a current show about cyber defense? You can't really learn that much. They can't tell you what they're doing. It's a secret. It's a secret. Now, the U.S. had, for a while, we had the Internet locked up before Edward Snowden <laughs> did uh, escape and explain to everybody, uh, yeah, they have everything. They have absolutely everything and access to everything. Now, they still have access, but it's just that now places like Russia and China are aware of it, so they can take some measures to keep us out. But we're so deep in the Internet and their computers, like, yeah, good luck. We're probably still inside them. They have software that's just insane. Uh, but they also have software that they were installing on local PCs here. Like, they could intercept. Like, if you bought a computer or sent it to the Geek Squad, they would intercept it and mess with it. They could put in software. You know, you, you've probably used software where 
a repair guy can uh, look at your files remotely and repair things. Yeah, so using that software, I mean, once they have access to your computer, they can do anything they want, essentially, which is pretty scary when you think about it, which is why you need some defense. Now, I know I'm not talking about the TV series, but there's not much to it other than the scaremongering like, oh, this is an undeclared war because the next war is going to be on the cyber world. Okay, so how does that... See, if you're not being truthful about the real actors in this and their real status in the world and, you know, coming right out and saying Putin is the number one threat is already, like, denying reality. It's the Chinese who are the number one threat in this realm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the Russians are in it, too. But the Israelis are in it. You're probably never going to hurt them. Um, you know, and the United States has definitely got their hands dirty in this, so... You know, unless you have a very complicated, you know, uh, presentation, it's not going to be anywhere near truthful. It just looks like a lot of drama mixed with protest and stuff. Oh, only with Simon Pegg. So he's not going to be in it all that much. Maybe he gets killed or maybe he's, he's only in it for a short time or whatever. I don't know. It looks... And it, and it kind of looks boring. Like, who the hell wants to see a show about computers? I'm on a computer all day. A lot of people are on a computer all day for work. Do you really want to see a show about how they're hacking the computers? Half the people watching this stuff probably go, oh, that's not the way it works. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I it, Again, it feels a lot like propaganda to me. And... Uh, uh, it doesn't, I, I'm not seeing the drama here because it's a lot of disjointed scenes with characters in different places. And, uh, yeah, I just, I don't think this is going to be very good is my, is my gut feeling. Can't really do a three act breakdown. It's a series, but it's just going to be an, an, an unending like, oh, this, this threat is new and now oh, we've neutralized that. Oh, there's an even bigger threat we didn't even see. That, that's what these kinds of shows tend to devolve into. Bigger and bigger threats and, you know, uh, more and more, you know, if it does well and then they increase the budget and then they'll have some action scenes. But, I mean, it's... It's about nerds. Computer nerds attacking each other. Ah I'm gonna I'm gonna just say no. No, thank you. And that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. Hope to see you in Wildwood. If not, I will see you tomorrow. Which I will also be in Wildwood. Today from three to nine, on Sunday from two to six.